The test carried out by IAB Friuli Venezia Giulia starts from the need to increase the local availability of plant proteins for monogastrics raised organically, but at the same time to diversify the crop rotation of organic farms and increase the ability to adapt to climate change. We have focused on laying hands thanks to the availability of our member Sergio Pascolo, who has been raising hands organically since 1997 and is always interested in improving eggs quality and birds welfare. In the first year, a flock of 3,000 layers was fed for the entire duration of the production cycle with feed containing a percentage of camelina cake, obtained with camelina purchased in Northern Europe, but in the meantime, about 30 hectares of camelina were put in cultivation. The cultivation of camelina in northeastern Italy is totally new, but it has several characteristics that make it interesting for organic farms. Relatively short production cycle. It can be sown in mid-October and harvested at the end of May, which also makes a second soybean crop in Friuli possible. Or it can be sown in February and harvested in June. It tolerates both high and low temperatures pretty well and it is drought resistant. Drought events are unpredictable but are becoming increasingly frequent. It is not demanding in terms of nutrient availability and adapts well, even to sloping soils. It is rather rustic and it is not subject to attacks by parasites or pathogens except on single plants in particular conditions. It does not require specific mechanization but only the adaptation of what is usually available on farm for autumn winter cereals. On the other hand, there are some characteristics that must be taken into serious consideration to avoid disappointment. Camelina suffers a lot from water lodging, so the soil must be well drained. The seed is very small and requires careful preparation of the seedbed in order to avoid sowing it too deep. The ideal depth is 1 cm. The opportunity of rolling is to be considered. The crop never covers the inter row so the weeds can find space to emerge. Even if it is possible to control weed pressure with a tine weeder, it is best to implement all preventative measures. For harvesting, suitably calibrated wheat combines can be used if operated at moderate speed. The harvested seed is often mixed with plant's residues or other seeds and it is therefore necessary to clean it before pressing. We have tested different areas and soil types and also different varieties, Canadian, larger seed, Austrian and Spanish. Their full evaluation requires more time and more cultivation cycles. Thanks to the availability of cereal dock organic, the harvested seed were pressed in compliance with the rules of organic farming and the cake obtained together with a part of the oil was then mixed in the composition of the layers feed to the extent of 3.5% expeller and 1.5% oil. Due to the presence of anti-nutritional factors in the seed, the bibliography recommends not to exceed 10% of Camerina cake in the ration. Due to the availability of new varieties and the diversity depending on the animal species, more in-depth analysis is required. Consequently, the farmer wisely preferred to start with using a small amount and then gradually increased it. The result of the feeding test on 3,000 hens gave positive results. The animals showed satisfaction with the new formulation. There was no decrease in production, both quantity and size of eggs stayed the same. Animals' well-being increased, which led to greater productive longevity. The quality of eggs was not only maintained equal to those obtained with the usual organic feed, but an increase in the omega-3 content was constantly observed, so much that it could be mentioned on the label. The quality of the protein supplied with camelina is complementary to that of soy. In fact, good quantities of sulfur amino acids are present. From 2020, the farmer decided to use the camelina containing feed for all of his 12,000 hens, and to continue with the commitment of on-site cultivation of the organic camelina. In the coming years, the farms already involved in the test will continue to evaluate the different varieties, the most suitable areas for cultivation, and the possibility of using cake and oil both in larger quantities and for other species. In summary, this test allowed to introduce a new crop in the rotation, but also to obtain quality and complementary proteins for amino acid composition to soy as well as a rich source of omega-3 and tocopherols that improve the welfare of animals and the quality of the production.